what's coming down the pike in hormones and maybe what you're missing out on and should consider outside of just having a dry vagina and some hot flashes. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So we were all scared, right? Like hormones equal bad, equal cancer, equal heart issues. But if they're started in the right time frame, in the right way, in safe dosing with good uterine protection, you have the potential for more than just the obvious perimenopausal and menopausal symptom relief. And that list is like forever long. So what you need to realize is that there's a lot of other things. And depending on what's important to you, that's also worth talking about with your provider. Okay. So what we do know is that it definitely helps with bone health because once we lose estrogen, your bones become Swiss cheese. So you may want to consider it, especially with a strong family history going that direction. It's not technically a primary reason to uh, utilize HRT, but for some people, this is like a game changer because something like a broken hip in our 70s plus can really be horrendous and end of life kind of stuff. Like there's data, okay? Number two, the cardiovascular stuff, it's actually the opposite. It's not as much of a concern. It's actually potentially a benefit. What we used to think was that you could you know, get worse heart disease if you started HRT, but the study was crap. We know that. However, if you start it within a reasonable time frame, you may actually reduce your cardiovascular risk factors for the long haul, which is why some people do strongly consider this as well, because you just want to feel better and like, you know, live a longer, fuller life. Uh, number three, there is some data that's showing decrease in things like colon cancer risk. Okay. Um, uh, that's still ongoing, but there's some decent stuff that's out there. The Alzheimer brain risks, dementia, all of that, that's happening too. Now, the early stuff is really positive because our brains also get exposure to our own estrogen. So all of these are not primary reasons to consider HRT, but for some people, some of these things are going to be more important and a reason for you to maybe feel a little bit more strongly about going that direction.